It's my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, Ilyash Kredov, who will speak about any small multiplicative subgroup, it's not a sum set. Uh, so, um, uh, so, first of all, let me formulate the main question of my talk. Uh, we have a ring, uh, uh, a field, uh, uh, and uh, we consider two arbitrary subset of this field. Uh, after that, we can form uh, the subset of these two sets, a plus a is the set of all uh, parallelized sums of a and b, and uh, we can consider the broader set of a and b as well. So, uh, uh, my question is the following. Uh, what can we say about sets which are some sets? Or different sets with different A and B, or maybe even with equal A and A uh, uh, here and here. So, of course, it's, uh, it's a very specific family of sets, some sets or product sets. Uh, they uh, must uh, have some uh, uh, very unusual properties, and uh, my question is how to separate an entity set from a subset. That's a basic question. Uh, I should say that uh, trivially any set is a subset because I can write any set S as S plus zero, or more generally S equals S plus S minus X. So, uh, below we consider the situation when A and B uh, are sets of uh, size strictly greater than 1. Uh, so, uh, let me begin from uh, a small survey uh, about what is known about some sets. Uh, uh, actually, we know very few about them, so my answer will be very short. Uh, 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 the first type of results uh, is so called Fourier or almost periodicity results um, where we find in some configurations in uh, uh, in some sense dense <coughs> some sets. Uh, uh, there are plenty of such results. Uh, remember a series of papers of Sharp, as they say, I just formulate uh, a modern, uh, maybe recent result in this direction. It's um, uh, a theorem of crude lava and uh, scissors. Uh, so consider two sets A and B of density alpha and beta. Then A plus B, uh, A plus B contains surprisingly low arithmetic progression. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, terms here. So for simplicity, take alpha and beta equals some constants, say one tenth. Then you see that the size of this arithmetic progression is just x of square root of law. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, this bound works uh, just for um, dense subsets of uh, uh, the segment of uh, natural numbers, and that is because we use Fourier uh, method. Uh, analytical methods work just for dense sets. It's uh, a property of, of this. Approach. Uh, in terms of A plus B uh, equivalently, more or less, you can say that these results are just about sets with really small sum sets. So A plus B should be small comparable to A and B. <coughs> uh, another result of this direction uh, is an elementary uh, result of Root, Ruhr, and Schoen, uh, who uh, uh, did not use any analytical tools, but it's it's also the same spirit. So if uh, you have a, a, a uh, this small sum set or different set, then a plus a or a minus a contains arithmetic progression of this length. It's a short arithmetic progression, but this result is applicable for uh, large sum sets. So another type of uh, results is uh, its so-called cascade observation. So for simplicity, form a minus c. Uh, then, uh, uh, if you consider the following intersection, so d is a minus a, it's a, the difference set, and you consider the following intersection for d belongs to d, not for all d, but just for uh, this d. 
Uh, then this intersection is uh, at least A plus some uh, epsilon of D, epsilon of Ds. I will explain in a minute what it is. Uh, 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 with A, it's, it's rather simple. Uh, if you consider this intersection, then D is A1 minus A2 because D belongs to the difference set, right? And this equal this, and uh, uh, it's easier that uh, each of these set contains E just by definition of the different set. So once again, uh, if uh, we have uh, the different set, that different set is just the union of these uh, shifts. So for any A, uh, A minus A belongs to this union, and it means uh, equivalent that A belongs to this intersection. I can iterate this intersection as well. And uh, so that's the basic uh, explanation of, of such sort of, of results. Uh, uh, and of course, for random set, it's a probability zero that gamma, a random set gamma times random uh, uh, set gamma equals gamma. So uh, we, we, we have separated from uh, the random piece. Uh, so, uh, the story um, began from a, a very uh, interesting result of Russian Newton and Zhelezov, who obtained the following theory. Uh, uh, take, uh, 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 in, uh, so A is a subset of the real numbers, and uh, let us form A minus A. So, D equals A minus A. Then, the product of D and the ratio of D uh, uh, is growing by this small uh, number. Moreover, they prove that actually so-called the multiple of energy of any different set can be estimated non-trivially. Multiple of energy is uh, the number of solution of this equation. So, uh, in, in the real setting, uh, 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 different sets uh, are, uh, are growing a little bit, and in the proof of, uh, in the proof of uh, their result, uh, Russia Newton and Zelezov used uh, very difficult uh, tools. Uh, first of all, uh, Schmidt's subspace theorem, and the second is uh, Sanders' uh, result on uh, structure of sets with small subsets. That is why they have the such uh, estimate. So I, I, uh, I, I give proof without using of this. Uh, uh, difficult tools and obtain that uh, d times d, d over d is greater than, oh, sorry, is greater than uh, d plus, d to the 1 plus uh, 1 eighth and uh, 1 plus 1. Right. Okay. So, similar things uh, hold in FP. Uh, the most recent uh, result in, this, in the direction is due to Murphy, uh, Lidis, Hersh, Newton, Rudolf, Mim. Uh, we prove that if A is uh, sufficiently small, then uh, D times D and D over D is growing. And, gives, and it gives you uh, uh, this corollary after some calculations. Okay. So, uh, uh, so recently we also improved with Zhelezov uh, this uh, um, real setting uh, theorem of Zhelezov uh, and Russian Newton. So, um, of course, there are no uh, subgroups in, in the real setting. I mean, find, I mean, yeah, find subgroups. Uh, uh, so, for me, a, a subgroup is a set. Uh, we, we said that uh, it's a set A said that A times A is, 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 is small comparable to A. And we proved with Zhelezov uh, that uh, any such a set cannot uh, represent, be represented as uh, B plus C. Equivalently, we proved that uh, if uh, you multiply B plus C times B plus C, where B and C have size greater than 1, that is greater than B plus C. Uh, to the power one plus some constant. Okay. What, what, why is this correlate? I mean, this is a very weak correlate of your one that we're Why do you state it like that? Uh, I 
And you could say B plus C plus D times B plus C plus D is at least B plus C plus D. Um, okay, I mean, the first result is so much stronger than the corollary. Oh, yeah. yeah, but it's important. Thank you. Uh, and uh, more, uh, 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 moreover, uh, we proved that actually there is an arterial upper bound for the unit of energy, the, the amount of energy of some sets and different sets, and uh, in asymmetric uh, cases as well. Okay, it, it improves the previous result of Russian Newton and Gilles. So, uh, sketch of the proof of, of the first result. Uh, so let me introduce my uh, hero. It's, uh, it's a, a crucial uh, set of, of the proven. So it's, it's called uh, the, ra uh, the ratio set uh, uh, as um, uh, 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 this set can be considered uh, as uh, cross ratios in infinity. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, it's just uh, the following. Uh, one is just the full uh, combinatorial object. So it was known, uh, it was known uh, that the size of this set uh, is, uh, is large, it's more or less uh, a squared uh, in the real set. And uh, in, in the prime fields, uh, there is a recent result of us uh, uh, where uh, this low bound for our fate uh, uh, was obtained. So the main observation is the following. This set, of course, uh, uh, is living in D over D, mm -hmm. right? And uh, uh, let us uh, make this calculation. 1 minus uh, this element from R equals this, equals this, uh, and, and this. So it means that R of A equals 1 minus R of A. So you see, uh, uh, more or less, R of A equals its shift. It's symmetric uh, uh, about one half. So it means that uh, R of A is editorially structured. Okay, but on the other hand, um, so uh, on the other hand, uh, R of A is living in D over D. So D over D contains an editorially structured set, but we suppose that D doesn't grow after multiplications or divisions and so on. So uh, uh, D is multiply uh, rich set like a subgroup, but it contains uh, an, an additive rich set. It cannot be the case and it is known uh, in the theory of some product. So let me recall what is some product. So some product, uh, uh, the some product principle says you that if you have a ring, and uh, you have a set with small uh, a plus a and, and a times a, then it can be just in one case when a has large intersection with some subring. If uh, your ring has no subring, it's okay, uh, just, it means just that a plus either a plus a or a times a must grow. There are a lot of application of this theory. Uh, uh, in uh, in the real set, and there is uh, the recent result, the recent best result uh, belongs to us with Sergei Konyagin. We proved that maximum of these two guys is greater than uh, for uh, three plus c. Uh, of course, R has no subring, so uh, you cannot you. Uh, um, uh, you are not. Uh, you do not need to need to consider this third situation. The intersection of A is a subring. So just this maximum is growing. And in the prior fields, uh, we have similar result. <coughs> so uh, after that, uh, we formulate the, pro the sum product uh, statement in in, in in a way which is useful for us. Uh, so, uh, um, suppose that you have a set, uh, that you have two sets A and B, and uh, a non-zero alpha, 
Then this intersection is controlled by this uh, uh, quantity. What does it mean? Suppose that you have a set, uh, suppose that A equals B, and you have a set which is uh, multiple cumulatively rich, so A times A is uh, small comparable to A. Then for any shift, A intersect A plus alpha must be really small comparable to A. Uh, to a. It's A to the power 2. Four. So if you have a lot of multiple structure, then the additive uh, structure is rather poor. Uh, a similar result uh, holds in FP. So after that, uh, just use our observation. So uh, R equals Y minus R, that is R. So uh, by our lemma, this quantity is, uh, is less than uh, uh, this expression. And it means that R times R must grow. Right? So uh, R time, times R is uh, greater than uh, P to the fourth. And we know that the size of R is more or less D. So it's D to this power. And it means because of R is living in D over D that this uh, quantity greater than 5 over 4. After that, use standard uh, tricks like tunic inequality and derive that this uh, uh, quotient to the 1 plus C. Uh, so just uh, one word about the proof uh, of uh, this theorem. Uh, uh, so you see we used uh, the following set, R, R of A, and it, it corresponds somehow uh, to the number of collinear triples in A times A. So there is a geometry uh, uh, under these uh, observations. Uh, I mean, uh, how our phase connected to the number of <coughs> triples? If you are considering a symmetric equation, so just the number of solutions of this uh, uh, of this equation, then you can uh, observe that this term is just the number of collinear triples in A times A, because, yeah, because just calculate what, what does it mean that uh, a1, b1, a2, b2, a and b are on the same line. It's just, it's just equality of tangents. tangents. And uh, in this more difficult result, uh, so uh, there are also good uh, uh, lower bounds for R of A in FP. Uh, so instead of T of A, uh, I need to use Q of A is the number of collinear quadrupes in B times B. It's a, a, a big quantity actually. Uh, but uh, with help of this, uh, we can uh, obtain this theorem. It's a big quantity, um, but uh, fortunately, recently we obtained an asymptotic formula for the number of uh, collinear quadrupes in any Cartesian product. Uh, so, uh, we have, uh, the main term is correspond to A uh, when A is a random subset of FP, more or less. And then the error term, uh, it's an optimal result, even this logarithm is needed. Uh, you can construct a set A, uh, said that uh, a lower bound here log to the sum power uh, 0, 3, something like that. Okay, so uh, so uh, uh, it's an optimal result, uh, and it's last to uh, uh, um, prove our decomposition theorem uh, uh, plus some tricks uh, from additive combinatorics. Uh, um, uh, uh, for example, uh, you need a uh, new upper bound for the additive energy of multiple subgroups. So uh, before, so now I want to uh, formulate some open question, but before I need to know to, uh, to another um, additive um, uh, problems, not additive but multiple problems, uh, that is uh, uh, a nice theorem of uh, that I have uh, 
to prove that uh, if you have uh, an integer integral of the speed and uh, e, I. and I uh, must be uh, rather small, this is a number should be something like that. Uh, then a uh, then I because <coughs> be represented as A times B, uh, where A and B created in one. With some uh, very natural uh, uh, exceptions. And another theorem uh, uh, is uh, a theorem, uh, it's a theorem, it's my theorem, but uh, uh, this question was uh, posed by uh, Schaper again. So he considered uh, a shift of multiple subgroup actually in his paper it was the quadratic residuals and uh, uh, asked is it possible to is it possible to represent a, a, a negative shift of this uh, uh, subgroup gamma uh, is a subgroup <coughs> and a, B, a, F. So it's, it's open, I proved uh, the same result for uh, A plus B, so doesn't equal A times A if gamma is greater than <laughs> So let me finish uh, by uh, uh, several open uh, problems. So we know that if we form A minus A, then A, uh, that this set D uh, grows uh, under multiplication. So, for, in particular, D over D is greater than D to the 1 plus 1 eighth. And uh, surprisingly, the, the upper bound here is not D squared, but D to the 3 over 2. So, the question is, uh, what is the right exponent? Another uh, very uh, uh, so this question uh, is also interesting. Uh, what can we say about R of A uh, about low bound for R of A in terms of uh, the difference set or uh, the ratio set? So uh, in the first uh, in the first point it should be uh, immediately. So here we have three variables and here just two, but it's open. And it, actually it would help in some problems. Uh, and in another question, uh, suppose so we, we prove that multiple subgroups are not some sets. Consider a, a little bit more difficult situation. Suppose that my S. Uh, is not a subgroup but a perfect difference set. Uh, uh, it's a set um, uh, with the following property. Any element of FP is represented exactly one, uh, exactly. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, so the number of solution of this equation doesn't depend on x. So it means that there is an, some constant. A global constant such that for any x uh, not zero x the number of representation of x like s1 minus s2 equals this constant so it's a very uh, uh, strong algebraic condition so can you prove that s uh, uh, does not equal a minus c and another question uh, in that form. So we know that uh, D uh, times D or D over D is growing. What can we say about further product? So, of course, it, it must grow by some uh, constant, but uh, let's, we want to prove something more uh, quantitative. So, suppose that we have a fixed M. Uh, if there are uh, some M, so say that if we take M products of D or you can uh, take uh, no, negative powers of D as well. Is it true that there is M side that these products are greater than D to the M? In FP it would imply some 
very interesting uh, number theoretical uh, consequences. Thank you. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for your talk. Any questions? Is it Gara and Konyani is a false for a bit larger I? Uh, I think, uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, uh, I think it, 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 it is true, true. for for where. Uh, Essentially. For old. Old. <laughs> Essentially old, yeah. yeah. How, how did the Murphy Petri this new Johansson theory come about? You didn't, didn't all of you work together, surely? How? You had a result. Yeah. You took Murphy Petri this. That's it. How, how did it come about? Did you work together? No. Um, do you know? Have you met Petridis? We used to. No. No, <laughs> we used to. Martha Verlief. Martha Verlief. It's a digital. One digital. It, it, it's one paper, it's a theory yeah. in one paper, or several theories in several papers. No, no, it, it's, a, it's a huge paper. We, we try to combine all the results. <laughs> More questions? Okay, let us thank all the speakers.